All right, on today's episode of the Bird Bros, we're going to snowshoe up to the top of a cliff, check out a pine marten that visited us at our campsite, and look for some birds. And now. This is our uh, third day. Just woke up from our second night. Still alive. Enjoying the smells. Today is the Algonquin Park bird count, so make sure to like look for birds, guys. Keep your eyes out. We are. Eyes to the skies, trees, and ground. I wonder what we'll see. All right, we're going to head to the river and get some water. It's only 100 meters away. And then bring it back, boil it, put some tabs in it. What he said. Water is important. Okay. I can hear the water, guys. Water. way clearer than the snow. Well, that's because you've been pissing in the snow, John. <laughs> it's not the only reason. Where else would I pee? I got water! Woo! Yeehaw! Nobody take it! <laughs> water is God, water is mine. You freeze, you die. John there, he's going to purify his water. With some iodine. It's been like a 35 minute process though. So. I got these water drops, they take about 15 minutes, but because the water is so cold, I have to triple the amount. But apparently it's safe for human consumption. They what? stole my water. Oh, they stole your water, so Cody? I'm going to get beaver fever and show you what that looks like. Oh, dear. We don't share around here. <laughs> yeah, Cody, Cody shouldn't have left his water. It, it was very irresponsible to leave it at that creek, especially yeah. with your filter. That was That's life, man. That's your my life. filter is in my pocket. I, I can't can sneak puke. this in your food, all of these, and kill you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You couldn't do that. And don't say that on camera. <laughs> We got friends. You did a nice fire. You'd burn it down. You did a nice fire. <laughs> oh yeah, we debated it. <laughs> we really <laughs> did. That? When we showed, I think we started cutting it some of really it up. Wet. It just wouldn't burn. It was pretty yeah. wet. It was all fresh yeah. green, right? Yeah. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> So, we're snowshoeing here. Feels like we're hiking to the top of a hill is where we're supposed to be going, but it feels like we're hiking down a hill. And uh, yeah, we're about 250 meters out. It's a nice little walk from our campsite. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. We've lost Cody, he's too fast. He's already gone up ahead somewhere. So, I guess we'll have to find him. Isn't that him right there? Silly Sean. Oh, I wasn't, Can you see me behind the tree? I wasn't even filming that. No? Oh. You're an asshole. 
I'm choking. Now I got your right reaction. <laughs> All right, this looks like the big hill that we've been looking for. Draw it off, see the lookout, and uh, hopefully it's nice. The lookout. The sign says lookout. Lookout for what? New Year's resolution, hit in shape. <laughs> now this is a place for a cigarette. I wonder how close you can get to the edge. Not <laughs> Stop looking so weird. Oh, hello. I'm gonna make some backcountry suet for the birds. I got this real greasy ass grease there. Cody was cooking hamburgers in my pot and just left it all like that for me. But I was like, that's cool because I got bird seed. I'm gonna just mix the bird seed in there and slap it on some trees. John got excited about a bird over here. Thought it was a blackback woodpecker because they're in the area. We haven't seen those blackback woodpeckers before, but it says it was just a hairy, and I came running. I came running all the way over here. Got my adrenaline pumping. Just a hairy. There's a pine marten right behind me, looking around. I don't want to turn around and scare it. It's eating the bird seed. Huh. And the fat I put in with the bird seed. Oh, did you?
the American Pine Martin. This little guy's a Martin. He's a voracious hunter. And he's looking in our little cabin here. There he goes. So it's the final night of our hot tending experience and uh, everything's going great. We're still alive. Hot in here. We saw Pine Martin. Saw the Pine Martin, yeah. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah. Good, got some good footage, and that's always good. And good stuff's every time, all over. And you know, you got you got your classic black cap chickadee and your red breasted nut hatches, so you know that. And you know, a couple of raven flybys, so the bird activity decent. Decent. Could be better. Cody's taking care of us. DIY. Or are we taking care of Cody? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we're taking care of Cody. Thoughts in the comments. Ah! So I brought these hot pocket things. They keep you warm. They're they're truly lifesavers. You just you got to give them a shake like this to activate the stuff inside to make them warm. Fortunately, I have lots of experience in this kind of Whoa. Um, uh, movement. So. I get them real hot. Oh yeah. They keep me warm all night. That was an adult joke. It's I'm not so like hot. scorching. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty warm. It's so hot. We got the Pine Martin, he's back. Back for more. What's the saying, John? Oh, it's kind of a tree. Can you see it on your camera? Yeah. John brought Mad Libs. I'm like, I don't know, it's like fifth grade up in here, but we're gonna pick some nouns, some adjectives, some people's names, and then we're gonna make a funny story. Just so you know, we fill out a couple before we turn the camera around. Okay, we need someone's name. Cody. All right, we need a verb ending in ing. Fucking. I guess we don't know what a <laughs> fucking adjective is. <laughs> Cody, who is a female, has a lot of talent for fucking. <laughs> uh, she will become a famous fluffer. 
like Britney Spears when she was bald. <laughs> On the other hand, John should take up castrating and get a job handling pine martens. When I grow up, I want to either be a fireman, a doctor, or a cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mad Libs round two. Cody, who always is in my dressing room, held my anus <laughs> when I was in trouble, yeah. and never failed to compliment <laughs> me. <laughs> want to thank my nice director, my not nice producer, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the aggressive writer of the screenplay. <laughs> Most of all, I want to thank you, my cold fans, who were responsible for my fisting this slanty award. <laughs> Bless your hairy woodpeckers. <laughs> And there you have it, folks. Bless your hairy woodpeckers. That's the immature Mad Libs. Potentially more to come. All right. Mad Libs number three. Here we go. Mad Libs, here we go. Turn the fucking brightness down. What is this, a Hollywood studio? Could be. All right. <clears throat> My telephone monologue to be read by a shithole in pajamas. Alright, <laughs> we're talking close. <laughs> Hi Sean, it's me John. I hope I didn't wake you from your fart. I have a digital taint right by my bed. It's 42 a.m. But when I sleep over at your house, this is always the time you get up t to go to the poop. <laughs> I can't go to sleep. I haven't even been asleep. Every time my foreskin hits the pigskin, I start tarsling and whistling. <laughs> Nothing's the matter, and I have to tell someone. My mom changed her grandpa. Yeah. And said I can have a puppy, provided I feed. Okay, where am I? Uh, okay. It doesn't look bad at Just making some bacon, and then we're going to make some eggs for our dinner time. I mean breakfast time. Somebody stole our water! Yeah, someone stole Coley's water bag on the trail. God, I won't live it down. Now you gotta take forever boiling snow. Tell the story, we need to know the story. There's no story. Yeah. Come back for it, and it was gone. Don't worry, we have the audio. With me screaming. Hey! Where's my water? Give me back my water! It's not garbage. We literally told you what we were fucking doing. Since the thievery of Cody's water filtration system, we are boiling water. They did in the old days. Ugh. God damn it. Why'd they steal our water? Oh yeah. 
There she goes. Bon appetit. Hmm. Cheers. All right, it's our last day, and we're just hiking out. Got all our stuff packed. I got my stuff in a tarp. I'm just dragging it off. Dropping snow on me. Cody's ahead of me. Got John behind me. Good to go. Beautiful day. Oh yeah. All right, we got this big hill coming up. Gonna have to pick our stuff down slowly. Luckily for me, mine drags a bit more, so I'll, just, I'll go first. Oh yeah. That's a mean hill. Me, gotta go down. Oh dear, this is gonna be scary. Oh, it's like skiing, boys. Easy peasy. Oh, lost the water bottle. Getting pulled with it. I should almost just slide down on my ass the whole way. I skied the whole way down. Dude, with my shoes, I literally skied for like 30 feet there. No, I know. I took that like a snowboard jump last time when we were coming to get you. That's sick. It was so fun. So I tried to do it again, but it didn't work out. Here's my dog for a walk. Cody was just saying for as cold as it's been, you know, the ice hasn't seemed to get any larger or thicker. That's what I said. This is like the halfway point at the water and uh, got the bridge behind us. Cody, John, we're gonna make some lunch and then uh, do the rest of the trail, get out of here. How's it feeling, John? All right, almost done. Then it's over. Can't take this trail though, eh? So flat. Huh? This is our trail. Exit. Oh, well, why can't we just take this nice big flat one, Cody? Because it's for... lead to your car. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Top of the hill, feeling tired. How you feeling, John? My heart's a pounding. Cody? No comment. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good uh, pace, don't you think? I think so. And look at the view. Pretty exhausted, though. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. We 
we had just passed where I uh, almost gave up on life on the way in. And uh, I think it's all downhill from here because I remember it being all uphill all the way there. So, yeah, get on my face, string. John's sled made it from all the way up there, all the way through here, to down there. Good to go? Well, Cody's already got the truck on, warming up. Don't waste no time. How's that, John? She's a workout. Overall trip, what has you got to say about it? Decent. Yeah? Could have used more wildlife. Although the pie martin made up for all of that, so no, it's great. Cody, what do you think about the trip? How was it your first winter camping? Oh, it was quite a learning curve, but I mean, it was cool. Got to see some wildlife. I mean, pie martin, I don't think I've ever seen one, so yeah. it's neat to interact with. All right. <laughs> Million dollar question, Cody. Did I lock my car door before I went in? Uh, no. All right, let's check it out. Get that million dollars, let me know. Ha ha ha. Get that million dollars, let me know. So good. And that's the end of our adventure. See ya. Well, that was a pretty wild episode there, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We got lots of cool episodes coming for you over the next couple months. So as always, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay fly.